I, I should ask actually, who, who made this uh, wonderful? Um, it's all, it reminds me of Magpie when I was growing up. They had these uh, kind of measures going all the way the room. You remember TV show Magpie from no, 1970s? I'm way too young. For that. Ah, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. 60 what now? Anyway, uh, the, the, the old barometer thing is always kind of cool because it, it's. Uh, it does give you a real picture of, of what you're aiming for. Yeah, it's really nice. This was the brainchild of Ruth on our committee. Okay. Um, and she and uh, Dara McManus, who's a friend of hers, helped her build it. Oh, so very good. It's, it's brilliant. It's a real visual way of showing yeah. people how we're getting on with the fundraising. And so it was a bit of a Blue Peter job. It wasn't like they got a carpenter and they, they made it themselves. No, this is themselves, yeah. Rock yeah, and roll. Which is brilliant. Oh, yeah, nice, brilliant. nice. Now we're at the 25,000 mark, as we can see there, and we're hoping to go all the way up to 100,000. We should just remind people that there's lots of different ways. Obviously, you can donate just yeah. directly if you feel like you have some spare 10 or a spare 20 quid or whatever. There's cool stuff. There is the uh, putting your name on what will be like a wall of names, commemorating the fact that these people contributed and helped to, to build this. Uh, uh, I'm sure it will be a, 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 a real um, big, big part of the town when it's built. So I can sort of see just quickly there, but we will put the links in. That you have options, you can go for a, like one name for 40 and an additional name for 20 and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Absolutely. It's, it's yeah, absolutely. It's pretty flexible, so you can do that online as well. Um, and then, as you said, you can donate. So there is just a donate function. We will be having, we'll have a float in the St. Patrick's Day Parade and we'll have a collection at that point as well. So if you have a few euro, put that in. So over the next coming months, we'll have a whole series of small little fundraisers as well that people will be able to get involved because I think it's nice for the community to do this together. And is there is there a kind of a, 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 a timetable? Would it be hoped by the end of this year, next year? I don't know what to sort of... We would uh... hope to get it in this year. Yeah, right. I mean, that, that would be the timetable. Obviously, it's all funding dependent. So if, sure. if the funding slows down, our plans will slow down essentially, but we're hoping to get it in this year. And now that Ireland, uh, Grace Islands especially, has become a tropical island all, all the year round. Like, I, I just, I'm amazed. This is uh, January 20th or whatever, and the weather's just amazing. It's fantastic. So a playground will be useful at least 11 months of the year now. So oh, well, do you know what? Even kids don't mind. Even if it's raining, they're happy enough to yeah. get out, you know? So, sure, so sure. It, it, it can be used all the year. There'll be little spots, I'm sure, of shelter anyway, just to... Uh, I've yeah, often thought that yeah, that's kind yeah. of like a smart thing to have in an Irish playground, is somewhere well, to go when it's raining. And... Well, that's what we're hoping, to have a sort of little gondola type thing. Yeah. Um, also some small areas that if your child maybe is on the spectrum that they can go in and just get away from the noise of the playground because we do want it to be a very inclusive space right. so if your child you know does have sensory issues sometimes they just need to withdraw a little bit get a bit of peace and quiet and then they can come back out and play with their pals again so we will have all those so if we do get gondolas like who'll feed them who'll, who'll look after them oh we're hoping you do it oh great yeah. look i'll try that rock and roll well i'll put all the links in great idea it's right here on the main street as people obviously would uh, be able to guess so we can kind of see what the progress is and we see just how good the people of Greystones are by this. This is the measure of how this is cool the measure. they are. It's this a measure, is the measure. of but people I, talk about being kind. They hit the like button no, and it's, it's nothing. It's the red this is the actual measurement of. Can I also joy. just say, Paul, we had a, a swim at Christmas, um, and we had we had a hundred people doing uh, a swim over the Christmas period first, which is fantastic. So thank you very much to all those who did that, particularly the, the Aero uh, GA Club. There was a big gang of lads did it first. So I think we're going to bring in maybe two and a half thousand through that, which is fantastic. Brilliant. And can I also say a big thank you to Phoenix Travel for allowing us to ah, plant this nice. up on the wall. Rock and roll.